if you like to track fluent from a google tag manager you need some tracking code this is the tracking code i have written and i will share this page link with video description you just need to come this page and just need to copy the code to copy this code and finally you need to go to your google tag manager which is connected with your website and from the tag we need to create a new tag to insert this code i am giving a title and clicking the tag configuration and from here we need to select the custom html and paste that code and finally the triggering section we need to select the all pages and save it now it is time to test the thing i am clicking the preview button and directly going to the page where the fluent form is installed in my website this is the form i am just fill up this form And finally, I am submitting the form. The form has been submitted and we are getting the thank you message. And if we going back to our Google Tag Manager preview, we see that we are getting fluent form submit even as well as if we check our data layer or if we like to check this cleanly way, then we can click the API call this icon and you see that the, our event name is fluent from submit as well as we are getting the form id and others information which we have submitted with this form now we will create a tag and using that tag we will send information for our google analytics and in this form we will collect uh, form submission event as well as the form id and uh, another uh, fill actually that is for google uh, that is project and if i show the thing uh, i'm just refreshing the page and you see that this is the project type we like to collect the project type for my day and from submission event so i am going back to google tag manager again from here we need to create a trigger by clicking the trigger we need to click and i am giving a title and clicking this icon we can select our tag configuration tag configuration we need to select the custom event because we are using the data layer event and the custom event name should be exactly matched with this name i am just copy this name and paste it here and save it now we have to create a two variable which we like to use with this form submission by clicking new icon i am giving a name for id and by clicking this variable configuration we need to select the data layer variable and the data layer variable name our cases it is the form id and i am pasting this here and save it we also need another variable called project so i am clicking here and giving a title project you can give any name whatever you like and then it is also data layer variable and in this case the variable name should be inputs dot uh, project because the project is inside the input object so i am copy the inputs paste it here and giving a dot by this we are accessing this object and from here we just need to copy the title uh, copy the key which is responsible for the project and just copy the thing and paste it here and save it so we have created our two required uh, variable as well as the our trigger now we need to create a final tag which will send information to our google analytics by clicking a new icon i am giving a name ga4 contact form submit and then the tag configuration we need to select google analytics and from here we need to select google analytics ga4 event and measurement id you just need to paste your measurement id I have already created a constant variable with that so i am selected i am giving a event name and finally we will send two more parameters event parameters with this form submission event so i am giving the name form id the name is totally up to you and the value is we have already created a value i am selecting the value for form id as well as the project by clicking the icon we will see our created variable and finally we need to select our trigger we have created the trigger low end form submit and finally we need to save the thing i am previewing our settings again by clicking the preview button and i will fill up the form like before and submitting the form
Now, if we check our Google Tag Manager preview, you see that in the tag fires, we see the GF4 contact form submit tag has fired. And for further inspection, we need to go to our in Google Analytics account. From here, we need to go click the uh, admin icon and we can go to our debug view. And if we check our setup, you see that we are getting the contact form submit event perfectly as well as we can see our project name is perfectly okay and our form name we are getting once you are confirmed everything is perfectly working then you finally need to submit it and publish your setup hope this video help you to track fluent from tracking and great thing is that with my tracking code you are getting all of the information uh like the email address phone number which is required if you like to uh track enhanced conversion